Alright, new topic today. I'm going to discuss Final Fantasy. Not just one of them, basically my opinion of the whole series and what bothers me and what makes me keep coming back. Except for Mario, Final Fantasy was my very first video game RPG that I've got into. I think at my time era, it was part three for Super Nintendo, which is six, I do believe, in Japanese. But I remember spending hours and just fucking having the best fucking time playing. At, I think I was like four or five when I first started playing, and I was hooked. I found out there was more in the series, which interests my taste, so I went out and got them. Even for the Game Boy, like they've been, I've had it for Game Boy, have, I had it for NES, Super Nintendo, uh, they had it on GameCube, I do believe. Yeah, they did. Uh, I wish I had a 64, that'd be fucking sick. But, uh, PlayStation. That's when I really got started getting serious about it, is when 7 came out on fucking PlayStation. Final Fantasy 7 is probably, it was very, un I don't, I'm glad it got the popularity it did, but when 7 came out, fucking Toys R Us, fucking Funko Land couldn't even give that game away. They had it on Greatest Hits Edition within, like within a year the game came out. I do believe it came out in 96, 97, if I remember, and... I had bought the original edition, and I uh, bought another copy, because if you know, played on PlayStation 1, the fucking games come with three, four discs, and my luck, I leave the fucking a disc out and it gets scratched up. I let someone borrow it, it gets fucked up, I lose it. And if you lose one disc in those fucking series on the PlayStation, you are fucked. Especially the first disc, or even the last disc, if you want to start over again, and you don't have the first disc, the game is fucking ruined. Go buy yourself another fucking copy. Plain and simple. This month alone, I beat seven. But speaking of seven again, well, I don't understand. If you had the original one with the black side casing of it, it's not the, the greatest, it's the green one, but the black one, that game is going for like eighty to one hundred twenty dollars. When I bought it, it was nineteen ninety nine. The greatest hit, seventeen ninety nine. And, like, you can't find them anywhere. Like, if you go to a game store, Game Plus, fucking games, like, games, I don't carry any old games, but, like, Game Plus, like, any, like, mom and pop stores, they're gonna charge you, like, 80 fucking dollars. Luckily, I, I found one on eBay, or Craigslist, I'm sorry, and got it for, like, 20 bucks for the greatest hit edition. Like, there's not much of a difference in the game. The same game, it's just fucking, it's green instead of black. Fucking, uh, beat, um, this one took me about 20 hours to beat. This two, about 13, 14. Now, when I, this three, when I tried it, because if you're familiar with Final Fantasy, when you beat the, the very end of the, the disc, it tells you to open the PlayStation. And you gotta put it on there. And usually they give you a save, like, they ask you to save it, but as soon as I put this three in, it, I left it run for 20 minutes. It ran after 20 minutes, but it took fucking 20 minutes just to get started. I was gonna be pissed because uh yeah my my memory card is fucking so good but I will have to go out and find another copy of it. Uh also the things I worry about Final Fantasy playing is when I get really far, like I'm i I'm going out and fucking just leveling. Just fucking in a random area, just fucking leveling up, leveling up. Then all of a sudden like one little fucking creature knocks my whole guys up. I probably spent two, three hours just fucking fighting didn't save it, and that shit makes you fucking go back to the point where you saved it at. Fuck that shit. Okay, uh, I was gonna play 9 right after 7, because 8, uh, I haven't played in a while, but I wanted to beat 9, because 9 had a really good game series with it. Uh, I played it, started playing again like 6, let's say 6 to 8 months ago. And, uh, another thing, when you name your character, don't make it too personal, unless something that's not, you know, not gonna change. I use my ex-girlfriend's name on there, and every fucking fight, blah, 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 I'm not going to give her name out, but like, the attack, oh, she needs this, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to see that, I want this for her. I'm going to start the whole fucking game over so I don't have to see that shit. Make sure it's not too fucking, make it about yourself, make it about your dog, your parents, your brothers, a cousin, or friend. Don't make it about an ex-girlfriend, because if y'all break up, you're going to go back and play it, and you're going to be like, fuck, I fucked myself. 
and when I'm playing Final Fantasies, any of them, especially on the PlayStation one, PS one, I'm scared when people enter the room because I know they're gonna walk by the system. Like they're they're so old and so fucking obsolete. Even back in the day, you tap it and the game would freeze and you had to start all over again. Fuck that shit. But yeah, right now I'm on disc two on Final Fantasy VIII. I think I spent a good 24 hours in the past couple of days to beat this one. I'm on disc two about halfway through. Uh, nine was really it's one of my favorites one out of the whole series. Love nine. Uh, I still think nine starting seven. I get shit for all the time. All the hardcore Final Fantasy fans. Oh, uh, seven was the best. I'm like, why didn't you play it when it first came out? Now it's fucking the greatest game ever invented. I was like. All, the, all my friends that played Final Fantasy VII when it came out, they know what I'm talking about. They have my back. But if I go to like a Comic Con or like a video store and start talking about it, Seven's the best. Yeah, Seven's a really good game. It started the whole Empire, a fucking good RPG on PlayStation series. But I still believe Nine out did Seven. Better graphics, better gameplay, better characters, better storyline, and it was more fun in my opinion. Now, Final Fantasy X, I was fucking going. Ape shit when that game came out. I do believe I was in like, I don't want to say 7th or 8th grade. I lived in Cyprus at the time. Uh, I spent my Christmas money, waited in line. It's not, waiting in line for games back in the day does not care curry to it now. But it was, you didn't have to wait overnight for it. You could just go in. But I, I got the special edition one. Spent 110 bucks for the game and the fucking strategy guide. Graphics blew my fucking mind coming from PS1 to PS2, and I was so glad I fucking PS2 carried on the Final Fantasy series. It was a really, really good franchise. They did a really good job, but I played it fucking Blitzball in 10. was fucking orgasmic. That is the best side game ever in any Final Fantasy series. I, I, I got tired of the Tetra cards, I got tired of the fucking playing cards in 8. It gets boring. Even 11 brought the cards back. Fucking the Bliss Ball, I would I would have bought the game by itself, to be honest. It was fucking sick and fun. Uh I do believe Ten Two tried to bring it back, but it wasn't playable and user friendly. It was just a fucking the graphic of a ball and you just watch it play. I like control it's like a fucking on the like a spear full of water playing fucking soccer hardcore, doing some crazy ass shit. You get to trade, you get to fucking free agent and it was sick. Anyways, uh I remember uh, 10 again, uh, going back to Xanarkin when you finally able to travel around. When Sims supposed to come up, it fucking froze on me. Every time, like, I thought it was just, I'm not doing something right. I went online, looked it up. The online now and then is fucking way different. Now you can just fucking get all the passwords and fucking, back then, it was a small community group or forum that talked about it. And give you much hint. They tell you what was going to happen and what you expect and what to do. And I bought the strategy guide and I looked through it and I'm like, this fucker stuff to come up. Never fucking came up. Uh, Blockbuster said it had to be the game. They had a lot of uh, bugs in the first generation. So I bought uh, another copy of Final Fantasy X. was really pissed. But Blockbuster back in the day would buy games from you, like GameStop now. And I bought it used, so. I'm glad I had the memory card saved it so I can fucking. Then when I bought the new copy, fucking right away, I was like, what the fuck? I was doing everything. I went to every fucking continent, every fucking place in the game, and tried to see if I missed something. No. But again, on the second time I bought the game, the very end when you fight Jet, I didn't get to fight on the second one, like, in the uh, second generation game, I guess. And I never understood that. And there was no uh, sin battle. You. Uh, you see, uh, Titus or Titus, or you want to call him, disappear, and that was the game. I was like, I missed two major fights. <laughs> what the fuck is this about? So I bought the game again years down the road when it was like eight, ten bucks for a greatest hit and used one. Uh, after the, the, the third one I had, I fought the last people out in battle. But I like the customized weapon on ten. Like, I know they had it in previous, but. You can actually mix however your sword you want it. You just like put your stones and you work into it. Final Fantasy XI, very great game online playing. I lost two girlfriends, lost a job, 
and I got banned for a while because I had too many plane hours consecutive back to back. They were fucking. They left me a message saying that uh, I'm hacking or I'm having multiple people using my account, which was bullshit. Here was when I was 18, 17, when I, I started playing more seriously because I got it. My friend Mark from um, London, my sophomore or junior year, it came out, and we, I started playing, but I didn't play it as much. Now, when I moved out from London to Conroe, when I started playing it, I was a fucking addicted. It was like never-ending story of Final Fantasy. I fucking loved it. The classes were good. They brought the mages back. Blue mage, you just go around with your friends and just playing. Especially when you know the person in real life. It's way more fun and you can give each other shit, help each other out. But I met some really cool people that I've actually added on Facebook not too long ago that we played together. And they, they're still playing. I, I stopped playing it because uh, I bought a laptop with Windows 7 and 7 is not able to play it, which really pissed me off. And I don't want to downgrade a Vista or XP again. Everyone knows why. Okay, next one in the series, Final Fantasy 12. It was really good. I really liked it. I like how the monsters can follow you through maps, like an aggro, like a Final Fantasy 11. 13, or 12, the job's really cool, the monster's really cool. It could have been a little bit better on the storyline, but I think 12 was the really last, really true story about Final Fantasy. I bought 13 for PS3 when I first hit the PS3. Didn't play it that much. It was too linear for me. Like, I remember my friend Furphy had it, and I... I I watched when he bought it because when you play Final Fantasy, it's one player game. You're not gonna switch. So I watched him play for two, three days straight. Wake up, smoke a ball, watch him play. So when I went home, I could play and understood. It was just fucking a regular leaner. It's like a battle scene from seven and eight. I can understand it with PlayStation because it's a fucking old fucking graphic. The memory is all fucking CPU is different. But it was too linear for me, and you can't really customize shit. And you just have to go on with the story, one after another after another. You can't go back and backtrack, uh, not to the very end, but the weapons are fucking confusing as fuck. It took me forever just to start customizing your fucking um, ultimate weapon, which pissed me off. But I'm not saying you're going to wait till towards the end, but it was just battle, you battle, story, uh, dialogue. Battle, boss, dialogue, boss, battle, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. And you just had to go to the straight line. Thirteen two was a little different. I liked it. They brought the same characters back. And it was more user friendly. I hate really on a cigarette, but get uh, because there was rumors about 14 coming out, and I only heard bad shit about some Final Fantasy from my friends talking about it. And I'm talking, what happened? <laughs> Go back to your roots. Listen to your fans. Your fans are your loyal fans for a reason. You have a great franchise, great game great design artists, great fucking animators, listen to your fans. They know what they want, and they, they, they're going to tell you what they want to see and do in the game. I wish I had the technology and the fucking thought process and a group of my close friends that play Final Fantasy and make one. I promise you, if we were able to make one, it'd be the fucking shit. It, I would play that game myself. I would make it like an online game, but a little more differently. Good storylines. It's not really hard to come up with, but it's Keep it going throughout the whole game. Oh, there it is. My fucking second copy of fucking Final Fantasy 9. I'm looking for it. Uh, again, it's a little rant about Final Fantasy. Everyone seems to be playing it now. And when you play it, make sure you have some time to yourself in a room. Not losing your job over it. Don't miss some work. Don't stay up late hours playing it. But make sure you have some good time playing because you can't just play an hour or two of the day. I can understand why like, the games are like 50 60 dollars now because games, usually, I thought they were progressing time, but a lot of games just fucking blow balls, and usually just the games that are really good are just another sequel to the game, like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Infamous. They keep making other ones because they know what sells, what works, and what fans want to see. Well, that's my rant about Final Fantasy. I hope you're all still playing it. Let me know what you're playing at the moment, what your favorite game was, your favorite thing about Final Fantasy, or where you want to see about Final Fantasy in the future games. Alright. Bye.